Hey everybody, this is Randy Younger from Producers Corner, but today we're going to call this uh, Electronic Technician's Corner because I had to become one because I blew out the drivers, the high frequency drivers on my JBL 615 uh, main speakers for my little PA system. Uh, that goes in my practice room, but we take it when we go to smaller gigs. Ah, come on. We take it when we go to smaller gigs. And uh, I was testing a feedback destroyer, and I just ran way too much high frequency stuff for the, through these drivers, blew them both out. And I was really distressed because I'm thinking, well, what am I going to do now? I didn't want to have to send these out for repair, and who knows how long that was going to take, plus how much was that going to cost. And so I got brave. I went online to look for a video on repairing the 615, uh, the Eon 615 JBLs. I couldn't find one anywhere. There was one close for an Eon 300 series. And I thought, well, you know what? JBL probably made them very similarly. So I would take a crack at it. I had all Saturday uh, to mess around with it. And it's super easy. So this video is going to demystify this and make it really easy for you. But here's the driver. This is the part. It is a JBL, let's see, 2414H-1. And you can get them very inexpensively online, well, relative to the speaker. They're about, I think I paid $48 a piece for these brand new um, official JBL drivers. I'm going to, this is the, the burnt out one. And uh, anyway, I'm going to show you how to replace them right now. Okay, so this is the box that the new drivers come in, one box a piece. I ordered two drivers. I probably should have ordered four just to have a couple on hand because I did pay overnight shipping. I didn't want to have to wait. So here's the box. And then the drivers are packed fairly nicely in here. You can see. I can't see that unless I show you. Okay. So there's the replacement driver. Okay. So here's the JBL 615, Eon 615 on the bench. And I am going to do a little time lapse thing. There are eight screws in the front grill. I'm going to take them out and then I'm going to take the inner screws out and you'll see how easy this is. You're going to need your T15 star driver for the, the grill. And we'll go ahead and remove those eight star screws right now. Okay, I've got the eight grill screws out. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the grill. It's not always easy initially to get it off. There it is. Grill comes off. Now we have the inside and we're going to go and get these which are TX20 We're going to get the TX20 screws out on the inside here, and I'll go ahead and remove those now. Okay, I've, I've got all the screws. Um, I've got all the screws out, so this this front half of this clamshell is going to come apart now. And I'm going to try to do this without standing the speaker up on end. So the first thing I'm going to do I'm just trying to get to the driver. So I'm going to just put this box here. So there's the driver right there, and you can see there's just two clips on there. 
I'll try to hold the camera while I pull those clips off. Now, I'm probably going to need needle nose. I did before. Well, I don't want to smash my hand, so hang on just a sec. Okay, I got the yellow wires off of the driver. So now I'm going to reach in. I bet you I cannot unscrew this driver. Okay, I'm going to try to reach in and I'm going to try to reach in and unscrew this driver. Let's see, it's not in focus here. Okay, let's see if we can do this. broken, burnt out, bad driver Put it with its brother over there, and I'll debox it and install the new driver. So here's the new driver, I'm getting ready to screw that thing in. to cross thread. Okay, when I get that in there, I'm going to give it a real good turn. <clears throat> as hard as I can turn it, okay, without a wrench. I'm going to put those clips back on and put the whole speaker pack back together. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I got the clips back on to the driver, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws back in. So that's it. The whole job takes about 20 minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes to do. And all you need are these two star drivers, a TX-15 and a TX-20. And, and those high frequency drivers from Full Compass for $48 a piece. So for around $100, you will be able to repair uh, this $1,000 uh, pair set of speakers, uh, JBL Eon 615s. Thank you for watching. Again, my name is Randy Younger with Producers Corner, and I'm not a speaker repair guy, but today I was, and so you can be too. Um, normally on my channel, I don't really go into this kind of thing, but it is something that a lot of us encounter, especially if we play out live. Uh, my channel is dedicated to music production, uh, how to mix, how to produce, how to build tracks, uh, also some uh, shootout comparisons between different plugins, different instruments, and uh, there may be something of value there too. So please check out the rest of my videos on Producers Corner. Like, share, and subscribe, and please leave comments so that uh, I know what you're thinking and I can improve as, as I go along. And I just want to keep the dialogue open with you, okay? Thank you again.